and the whole online uh the whole online portion of it is pretty fun too you can just jump into random games with people and each person has a different style of lineup so i definitely recommend it uh josh mentioned street fighter i wanted to let everyone know that today is actually the 30th anniversary of street fighter no way and uh, may 29th yeah right, they're, everyone they're coming out, out with the uh... street f- today they released a street fighter 30th anniversary collection Ooh, at right, least everyone. xbox at least Xbox did. <laughs> uh, I don't know about PS. I yeah, no, those, Xbox so. is pretty pretty favorable towards uh, Street Fighter because I think PS has uh, Tekken. Tekken's there used to be their big uh, oh, fighting style. That's game. true. All right, so um, you know now time to discuss the top five games actually coming up recently. And guys, we got some really big games. You know, uh, us gamers out there are really excited for this next one coming up. Yeah, all four uh, of us. <laughs> yeah, all four you know, of us. Uh, one I want to discuss is uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Ah. And, um, you know, the difference, I played the other one. Oh! And, you know, I, <laughs> I, I played the other one not to completion, you know, so, uh, unfortunately. But um, I don't think many people did. To be no, honest. no. But you know what? It's a very really? much. It wasn't an exciting game? No, it was. It's just so much content no, in the game. No, that was an amazing game. Yeah. Red Dead Redemption? Yeah. It was, it's like a oh, yeah. Grand Theft Auto in Western a Western motif. And, so yeah. like it kind of never ends. Is that what you're saying? Or? Yeah, and I then they, played either. Though, yeah, so. yeah, and then they had they oh, okay. they constantly added like content, you know. Okay. And um, stuff like that. That's so. why no one beat the game because. So you never yeah. played a, a Rockstar Grand Theft Auto game? I've not. Oh. Whoa! Wow. I've not played. Uh, just like you've never been to a baseball a, game, David. Yo, oh, all right. Baseball well. game though. <laughs> yeah, you, come <laughs> yeah. on, man! Everyone's. Have you been to a Dodger game? Yeah, it's just the. It's just kind of a. You thing didn't. You, do. you weren't exactly happy about the hot dogs. They sucked. Okay. Well, if I'm going to a baseball game and I want anything to look huh. forward to, it's going to be the. Food. Well, don't go to a Dodger <laughs> dude. Then go to a go to. A, we I mean, went to the wrong hey, section man. for that. They have some badass food. Yeah, on the but other side but of they the don't park. call them Dodger dogs. I'm not. All I can say is I'm not getting Dodger dog. Don't even even get a Costco dog. That's way better. I'll bring that Dude. with me. Dude, I, uh, I'm, I'm going to run a campaign to end the fucking Dodger dog. It's a fucking yeah. disgrace to I'll the city. I'll join you. And Food, we'll, that's we'll a disgrace to the, the goddamn city. That's just the watered down version for the all you can eat. The real ones are in the main wow, part Wow, this park. got out of hand real quick. All right, say <laughs> so <laughs> passionate. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, to talk about Red Dead Redemption 2. Fuck uh, you. <laughs> 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 the, the difference with this one and the other one, this is actually kind of like a pre-sequel. So the the first one took place in 1910. This one is actually going to be taking place in 1886. And it's actually going to be following um, the gang. The They're called the Vanderlind Gang. And they're actually the main antagonist in the first game. So what this one's going to be is you're going to follow um, a newbie in this game. Um, I believe his name is Arthur Morgan. And he's going to be a part of the gang. And what it is, it's supposed to be presetting to what happens at Red Dead. And um, you meet the, the main guy, John Marston, um, when he first got his scars, you know, so that's pretty cool. And then they, they're saying that they may incorporate some of GTA V, where the old, you have the whole heist function, where you can oh, work with yeah. several other guys in there and you can literally you know have like a bank heist an old old style western bank heist in the game that's dope dope. yeah i would probably be playing these games if i knew that yeah it's it's if if you jump into any game right now grand theft auto 5 in a rockstar game that you've never played one yeah you've never played the best game to jump in right now if you've never played it up guys you're really (laughs) having it it is no there's a reason why that game oh it's cool um, that, oh, okay. That, okay, hold on. Wait one yeah. second. That game has been coming out in the top sellers for mm-hmm. years now. Mm-hmm. It's been, about a year and a half already. It's been released think, since it's been released. I think. Um, way longer than that, dude. Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh, it's been oh, multiple yeah. years. It's been, it's been years yeah, since that right. game has been out, and it's been coming out on the top sellers for like a long ass time. Already. Yeah, it's still selling. Um, it's wow. inc- it's incredible. It's an amazing game. Definitely try it out. Definitely worth probably every penny. And if you don't like it, I will take you to Chili's, my friend. And, and we'll have that fucking triple appetizer sampler. And we'll can just we just there. do that though? We can still do that. Cool. But he said it'll probably be good. Though, probably. No, 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 no. It will be. If it's <laughs> not, I will take you to Chili's again after our, ne- our after next, the first after the first time. But we're, we're going, going to Chili's. We'll go. We're going to Chili's. Awesome. But the, well, I'll take you again. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I want, did that. Yeah, He's I want free chili. No, I want <laughs> free chili's. Who's that? I'm paying. I'm going. Oh, wait, what? Oh, what <laughs> the first? <fuck? laughs> he just said he'll meet you there, man. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. All right. So, um, one more one more uh, addition mode in this game is uh, like a zombie mode. So there's also a zombie mode included. You kind of have to have. That yeah, now, right? you know, pretty much in every game now. So it, this game actually releases. The release date is set for October. 26th of this year um that may push back you know 
just how games are, especially when they're not completely done. Mm-hmm. So it may end up getting pushed back. So just kind of keep uh, keep an ear out for that one. Um, next game is uh, the Spider-Man game by Insomniac. That one's going to be only on the PS4. And um, the best way I can describe this game... The un- the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. It's, don't say no. Arkham Knight of Spider-Man. No, 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 let's, no. let's go with something more unique than the Arkham Andrew Knight. Andrew Garfield. No, no, no. That's exactly... I know. N- no yes, one said exact, Arkham but, Knight except you, buddy. But that... No, no, no. Because he was going to say it. <laughs> no, because... But that's the, the best build. Is, that's the is. best build to I go off of. You know, you don't really have... You don't have many other builds. Because I think Arkham pretty much perfected it. Or Rocksteady perfected it. So... Um, Insomniac's having their different take. It's not exactly like Arkham because you know Spider Man's more improvisational. Yes. So that's where this is different. Would it be more I... fluid because it's just yes? It's, it, it would. Be. It is. It's it's more agile, much, I would much more fluid, much more acrobatic. Uh-huh. You know, it's uh, on that point as far as the fluidity and acrobatics. Like the fighting style, I'm hoping represents the Arkham style because mm-hmm. I love the fighting system in that. When you get close and personal, along with some a little bit more room for improvisation. But when you move, I want you to move kind of like Spider Man too. As I'm ho- sure everyone is hoping for those type of physics well, so a blend of spider-man 2 and arkham knight oh my god well the game fa- the game footage i've seen so far reflects that that's yeah that you can jump around from like you know different different distances and um i you know honestly i really highly recommend this i really uh, love playing arkham knight and i Told really you. love playing these uh, spider-man games so um the next one obviously you got to talk about black ops 4 you know just announced um Poo poo. Yeah, not much not was really uh not much was really talked about it, you know, besides a potential battle royale style of game, you know, like kind uh, of upsetting. Like PUBG or like for- Fortnite. Um but not much detail into a possible solo they just, mission. They just need um, to do the Modern Warfare 2 remaster. Yeah, I mean, I I'm not too excited about it, but you know, just got to talk about it because it is the most highly anticipated I would game pay right full now. price for a Modern Warfare 2 <laughs> oh, remastered. Uh, Real quick, Spider-Man comes out uh, September 7th, 2018. Um, last two games are just, you know, uh, niche type of games. You know, Kingdom Hearts 3. A lot of people have been waiting for that one for years. I have been waiting for that since my uh, junior year in high school. Sounds about right. Okay. And, and part, um, part I went to a re- right. really quick story, really fast story, I promise. I went to a dance with a girl, and I was fucking having the time of my life. And then she kind of, like, abandoned me that night, and I was like, you off. didn't even grab a booby? <sighs> nope. I didn't get anything from that. Oh, anyways, dude. anyways, went home, had Kingdom Hearts 2, brand new, because I so, got it that day, And but I went to the dance first, came back home, I was like, fuck this dance. Played that shit for like the next two days straight and beat it completely. Well, not 100%, but beat the game and the story and just everything. Just beat it. Totally, because it's just... It just brought me back to life, man. And I've sorry, been waiting for that sorry, game I since then, you. man. I've been waiting for that game since then. Uh, this is 2005? 2004, I believe. 2005. It? Jesus. 2005 Jeez, was when it went to came out. They really? wanted a 13 year old to buy the game. Yeah, no kidding. Um, if, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's like a mixture of Final Fantasy with like Disney characters. Come on. In like a Disney war. Tell me that doesn't sound it's, awesome. It's pretty badass. Tell it's me fa- you don't have a Disney movie you love. Yeah, it's oh, Josie. Favorite do. Disney movie. Oh no! I I I really enjoy the, the shit out of Lion King. Lion oh King. yeah, you can you can uh, play in like the Lion King boom. world. Um, it's it's pretty cool. Your favorite Disney <laughs> movie? Favorite Disney Get back movie. to me! I don't know. <laughs> favorite movie? It's too faded. Oh jeez, Hercules. 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 Dang, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. Great. You gonna pick Hercules? Just uh, no, no. Yeah. What about Emperor's New Groove? Oh, that's a funny yeah. one. Not no, a favorite, but a funny one. Mine's really Aladdin. Funny. Aladdin. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, kind of an easy. That's one. the best that's one. A, that's that is fun. the best one. It's I kind of totally agree with that's Jasmine, dude. <laughs> yeah, so yes, all the reasons. Aladdin is the best. Isn't it? <laughs> so there's no set release date for Kingdom Hearts three right now. They're saying 2018. It may end up getting pushed back to 2019 because it's been we've been waiting for this for 13 years. So <laughs> what's one more, right, guys? <laughs> um, so the next game we're gonna talk about is uh, Crackdown three. Uh, it's an Xbox series, and what Crackdown three is pretty much like you're a superhero cop, and um, you. You have to take down like uh you live you're pretty much in like detroit and you got to clean up the streets um but instead of clean like robocop yeah you just like a superhero the gimmick behind it is you can destroy the entire environment everything you yeah. can destroy everything in, in order to bring peace buildings yeah yeah <laughs> in order to bring peace right how ironic it's a pretty cool game i've <laughs> yeah. seen i've seen it i played a demo it's, yeah look it's fun there's no set release date as well for that one either so uh just real quick just to talk about some upcoming stuff uh we got e3 coming up uh june 
twelfth. Um, you won't catch us there, but that'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be dope. I, Next year, though, hopefully we can get in with like some press passes. Oh Let's yeah, do it. definitely. We could yeah. definitely. It's very easy to do that. Uh, for we more, have this. We can well, don't let do them that. know that. <laughs> <laughs> for, uh, for well, it's extremely you have tough to, be do- to do this. No, what I mean for us, because we do these kind of things, mm-hmm. we can easily mm-hmm. allow ourselves to have access to this kind David's of stuff. David's line, everyone is so hard to do this. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, for more information, guys, you can look it up at uh, www.e3expo.com. Um, Hashtag food bar show. One last thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed. You know, I wanted you guys to get your take on it. Um, Nintendo Switch has this new uh, like console type of thing you can do. So it's like you get like a cardboard build. Labo. Labo. That's what it's called. And oh. you have to like build your game, yeah. and it's like a thousand, like almost a hundred pieces of little cardboard pieces. Oh. You're fucked if it gets wet. That's all I'm saying. Here's what. Here's here's one thing I gotta say about that, and I think we should move and on. And then everybody because, honestly, gets oily wait, hands. We no no no. I feel like as as a, as a reputable podcast, we should try to talk about them in a, in a better light. Because honestly, it's just cardboard. But if you understand what's happening with the system between mm-hmm. the cardboard, mm-hmm. it's actually pretty ingenious. Josie's just a now, fucking hater. Dude. I think everybody should go <laughs> and search Nintendo Labo. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Lambo. IR sensor, or maybe a Nintendo Labo, how it works. Search Lambo. Nintendo Labo, how it works. And I think everybody could get a good idea of how it actually functions really with the cardboard and the whole feelings, science behind dude. it. And it can allow anybody working with it to kind of open themselves up to creating new things with it. Because if you understand how it works, you'll understand oh, it's why it's engineering at its prime. Yeah, we get it. It's, Lambo. No, it's very simple and ingenious. Yeah. That's why there's cardboard involved and infrared sensors. I'm trying to, like, I, I actually I, I was on your side first. Lambo. I, I recommend one video to watch of. <laughs> Uh, it being used um, look up the Game of Thrones composer uh, Raman oh, Jawadi yeah. he plays the Game of Thrones what score what's his name uh, Raman Jawadi Raman he Jawadi. does uh, Westworld and Game of Thrones uh, composing I'm not um, gonna spell that because we don't know how yeah I don't, I don't even know how either <laughs> um, but uh, he does the Game of Thrones score on the little piano uh, labo thing yeah it's definitely check that out cool. there, it's it's an interesting little bit of software and hardware combination. Mm-hmm. Even the cardboard does play an integral part in how it works. Search up the science, Nintendo Labo, how it works. It'll be great. Lambo. All right, All right guys. Well, uh, that's it for me. All right, man. Well, good job, David. <laughs> I feel so special. Yeah, dude. Good job. Um, uh, you, thanks for doing this. Uh, hopefully, we're able to make this more of a regular thing, maybe once a week, once a month. Once a year, Lambo. Once every decade, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll talk. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk yeah, about yeah, yeah. it. I'll, I'll check my email. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> also, well, good everyone, job, send us emails, please. Yeah, let we'll us know what, what we're doing wrong. If you want it, 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 us to emphasize a certain subject or topic or anything like that, and we want to hear from you. And guys, if you so. touch Jose, where can just, get that? And where, where can where can we get that? Well, you can reach us on uh, Fubar Show at gmail dot com, our Facebook, Twitter. Uh, Instagram, our handles are our Foo Bar Show. F double O Bar Show. F double O Bar Show. So um, check us out there. And again, uh, thank you, Josh, for that segment. I, I look yeah, forward to more of this. If you email us yeah, and yeah, you yeah. tickle Jose in the right little spot, mm-hmm. he'll even invite you on the show. Rumor has um, it. Read your mail. Says experience. something interesting. Yeah, I, I'm not. Something. I'm not against for you know having people on the show. If you have something interesting to say, promote, hype. Uh, something that might not normally be uh, in the zeitgeist of things. If you're like very niche, uh, uh, a certain kind of topic, come on down, hit us up. Uh, we are podcasters with extremely low self esteem. So, that being said, I want to talk about the showbiz uh, news. All right. Well, the only thing that I really wanted to cover was Solo, a Star Wars story. I checked it out this last weekend, and um, I, I really gave it. I, I try to give it the most fair and honest review without being um, influenced by the fact that it's just been diluted by because of all so many Star Wars movies that is, that have been coming out. But I, uh, in my review, you're just going to see that I just couldn't help it. So, so here it goes. So while Solo is a movie with familiar characters living in the Star Wars universe, it is also very much a Disney movie. It's uh, it's also likely that the it's also likely the most human Star Wars feature to date because this movie is almost devoid of any mention of the Force and those who use it, even less than Rogue One. Uh, it's a fast-moving flick that keeps you watching until the end, but not without any distractions. Uh, Woody Har- Harrelson, for one, is great. But just having him in the movie kind of took me out of it. Uh, not kind of, but like a lot. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it, you, you're appreciating what's happening. The script is good. The dialogue. But motherfucker, that, that's Woody Harrelson on the screen. You can't help but just think that. Woody Harrelson?